I've got a question here about clasicodone, which is a new uh, topical medication that's coming out for that's actually been approved for acne and um, is uh, has completed trials for uh, use in uh, male pattern hair loss. Um, and the question is, why does minoxidil uh, not work for acne um, and clasicodone does? And the question was around those uh, medications both being antiandrogens. Well, the first issue is, is that minoxidil is not an antiandrogen. Uh, minoxidil is actually in its own class. It's, it's nothing to do with hormones. It just happens to prolong uh, the antigen phase. Um, we think that it has to do with potassium um, inhibition of, of, of um, uh, receptors in the, in, the, in the follicle. And so there's no antiandrogen effect from minoxidil. So it's a totally different class from clasicodone. So it would not make sense for minoxidil to work um, in its current form. It is typically um, a little bit of an irritant to the skin. So we don't uh, typically have patients apply it to their face or if they do very sparingly to eyebrows uh, in patients with alopecia areata of the eyebrows, uh, potentially a, a few times a week. Uh, so we wouldn't want to um, try to think about using minoxidil for acne because that would not be a good a good use of that medication. 